It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Heather and Vera again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. And I have, oh, I'm running over here, Vera. Hey, Vera. Hello. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right, girl. I'm just so excited. (laughs) So I have um, one of my college friends, Ramona Lee, on the phone with us, and she is a powerhouse. I'm not going to give you everything because I really want her to say it because she knows obviously more in depth than I know, but she has twins, a baby that's almost two. She has used to work for a corporate company and while doing all this, while having twins and being pregnant, she started a business. And now she has been able to transition from the corporate life into full time with her business. And so for me, I just have a ton of questions for her. So hi, Ramona. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Doing Good. great. Good. I'm so excited to be, to be on. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks, yes, for, of course. thanks for joining us, really. Sure, sure. Okay, so um, at, n- number one, I'm very excited. I-, I love what you guys are doing, and it's it's just a breath of fresh air. So thank you for your wonderful podcast, and I know it's reaching a lot of people, and I'm just excited to, to talk for a little bit. Yeah, Yay. thank you. Yeah. yeah, so tell us about, because I mean, uh, Heather gave you the brief, so not us, the yeah. brief, the cliff notes, but yes. <laughs> really, I know there's so much more to it than that. Sure. And I mean, by the way, it sounded so good. I'm like, who is that? They're about to interview. Like, that sounds amazing. Like, who is that chick? Like, that sounds amazing. Um, Okay, yeah. So, I mean, a a little bit about myself. First and foremost, yes, I am a mother. So I have three little ones. So three, I used to love to be able to say three under three, but now it's three under four since the the twins, the twins are three, three and a half. And then um, the youngest one, yeah, she's, she's almost uh, two. So I live in a circus, basically. So (laughs) My resume should, number one, say I uh, run a circus or I'm a, what, what's the person who's a, a ringleader? Yes. Ring I'm, I'm, yeah. uh, yes, I'm the ringmaster. Yes, <laughs> no, no, 100%. Ringmaster all day, every day. Um, so that that's number one. And yes, yeah, so up until um, a few weeks ago, I um, my professional life was um, in the corporate world. So I spent 13 years working uh, corporate retail, just kind of different jobs there. Part of my uh career there was in the buying side. And then I went to product development, probably like the last four or five years of that. And so um, had the twins. And then when I was pregnant with the the youngest one, I just, you know, my, my husband and I were talking and said, you know, you, I've always had this idea or this dream to do, to run a business, yeah, preferably something in uh, retail or, um, you know, that had to do with design or fashion or whatever. I had just, uh, started to be really obsessed with like kids fashion. Now, Heather, back when you and I knew each other, I would have never in 5 million years would have said, oh, I'm going to do kids clothes. Like, yeah. I, I just like, n- you you know, we, that wasn't even in the scope of what we were looking at at the time. No, we um, were high fashion. No, we, we were high fashion. We weren't worried about kids clothes. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, naturally, you know, with, with the kids, with the twins, I just got obsessed with like Etsy and like all of like the cute little shops on Etsy and, you know, dressing them up and, you know, taking their little half six month pictures, 12 month pictures. I was that mom who took a picture every single month, like legit, like it was like a big ordeal. And I know my husband was like, please no more month pictures. I can't take it. (laughs) Um, but I would pose them up and I just got so, um, excited about, about doing that. And I was obsessed with it. And I was like, the, 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 the problem that I saw or the problem that I had was I love Etsy to death. Like it is my jam. However, mm-hmm. I would spend so much time trying to find all of the little pieces to put this outfit together. I'd have to go to one shop for the bow, one shop for the onesie, one mm-hmm. shop for the whatever it was like mm-hmm. crown or whatever. And I was like, well, dang, is there like one place I could go to get everything? Like I, there's just not one place I could go to get every, all of those little pieces. And so that's kind of where the idea was born. It was like, well, look, what if there was this one business or one shop or one website I could go to get a onesie, a crown, a bow, a bow tie and all that other stuff. And so that really was where the idea was born, was to figure out how we could bring all of those cute things that, you know, somebody like myself, a mom who was obsessed with pictures <laughs> or holidays, um, and where we could put all of that that together. So that idea kind of started when I was literally, I probably had 
just found out I was pregnant with, with Marley. And okay. you know how we did that was look, we know how it, you did that. <laughs> well, but listen, well, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> fast forward that part. This, 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 look, this is rated G right now. This is rated G right now. Um, okay. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, I, it, life was not going to get any easier. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, at, you know, at the time I had twins and, you know, a corporate career and, you know, all of that stuff is, is busy. It was never going to get any less busy. Mm-hmm. So we just jumped in and, wow. you know, the, the rest is kind of fast forward. We've been open and up for about two and a half years or so. What's mm-hmm. the name of it? Yeah, sure. So the, the name of our, uh, our store is it's my party kids boutique. Okay. Um, and what we pride ourselves on is uh, what we say is that we, we want to dress your star of the show, okay? So the, the star of the show, of course, is, is the kid. And, you know, it's all about, you know, the, 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 um, the little ones for the birthdays or for the holidays or for the six-month pictures. Like, those are my favorite, just getting, you know, some of these pictures back from, from all of the parents. Like, it's, it's just such a source of pride for me, and it makes me just so proud. I love it. I she, love it. She will do like custom things too. So I'll, sure. for Baker's one or when you're a party, I was like, uh, I don't, you know, I want to give him something. And then like, I was like, well, let's get all get shirts. Like I yeah. ordered him one and I was like, let's yeah. all, let's both yeah. we're doing it. <laughs> right. And so then she was able to create, you know, the shirts for us and everybody was yeah. like, what? We want a shirt. And we're like, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh I, you know, one, one of the things that I've just found um, probably by surprise that, 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 you know, that I just love the most about the business is literally like, like w- when you get those pictures or when you, you know, work with a mom who's just so excited about, oh my God, you know, my, my baby's going to have such beautiful pictures. Thank you for this outfit. Or one, one comment that we just got recently from someone um, was you made our birthday pictures, dreams come true. Aww. Like that when you get that kind of stuff, like there's such a fulfillment about it that I really have been taken by surprise about. Like I, I just, um, it's just amazing, you know, to to know that number one, you've helped someone to create, you know, this experience. And then number two, I think about, there's something that I touched that is in this child's photo book or photos forever. Mm -hmm. Like think about it, like your one year photos or your birthday photos or your Christmas photos or whatever, like you look at those forever, you know, the kid's going to look back or the parent will look back when the kid's 16 and still have these pictures. Mm -hmm. And that is just, it just blows my mind. It is something that, that I'm very proud to be part of. And she so has something cool. for everyone because I'm not the kind of I'm not the mom that's like oh we have to do yeah. perfect like I'm just like yeah. it, it, it's a, we have to do that like we have to take the six month picture because like that's what right. people do and like right. so like just throw a sheet on the on the <laughs> rocker and we're going with it right it was just it, nothing was planned it was just like oh shit tomorrow's his six month we got yeah. <laughs> you know? right yeah. um but I I know I get things for you know from. Ramona all the time for different occasions like Christmas pajamas and right. um, Valentine's Day shirts, mm-hmm. which I love. And he, Baker's, Baker's going to wear until he's 21. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can make a bigger size. It's, it's, yeah. It's problem. I mean, don't, don't think I'm not going to ask that. Yeah. Okay. Until he's 21. <laughs> Got it. So Ramona, <laughs> is your husband fully involved with the business too? Or does he have a whole nother thing going on on, on his end? Yeah. So, um, uh, my husband, he, he is, um, kind of like a part-time, um, uh, helper with the business. So there are things that he actually does do. Um, uh, he actually does also hold a full-time job. So, uh, wow. corporate job. So he was also in the full-time corporate life when I was in the full-time corporate life and running this business together and nights and weekends. And yeah, it was, it was crazy. So, um, now that I've kind of transition on from corporate and then from the house full time right now, he's still working the corporate nine to five. Okay. He does, so crazy he, does a mo- he does a talent um, acquisition. Yes. Talent cor- acquisition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and corralling talent. Correct. Yes. Correct. I think corralling talent or what do they say? Uh, uh, Herding uh, kittens. Herding cats. Yes. He's a cat herder. Yes. hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> like you, you, well, Heather, you, you know, and you, you, both of you guys know, but you know, taking pictures and you know, all of these great pictures that you see on the website or especially like of my kids, like uh, people have no idea how hard it is to get oh. these kids to stand still. Like mm-hmm. they're so cute. No oh, so idea. Cute. We take like 500 to get three. Like Aww. it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so you guys have been doing this now with three children that are just under four now. Right. But 
How did you keep from absolutely like uh, working all that time and being yeah. stressed out? I'm sure, and having sure. I'm sure financial stuff going on, and right. and the time and the no sleep and the. How did you keep from killing each other? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> and how did you keep from your kids n- not knowing you or like? Yeah, knowing- right, <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, right. Mom. Because, yeah, like that. We want to know, like, how did you handle all that and still maintain your relationships with your family? And you know, yeah, um, it, it's a lot. I'm, I'm gonna be very transparent. Like, it's, it's hard. Um, it, it is difficult. And I think, I think one of the things that kind of helps um, us to kind of navigate through was to know that first off, that it's going to be hard, that it's difficult. Like there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times where I am a person, I like lists. Okay. So when I, when I get up in the morning, I write the list of my to do's for the day. Okay. And that that's kind of to my detriment because I, I'm working through like what the boundaries are. Like I, when I get to writing a list, that thing goes from one top three things to top 50 things. And that's just (laughs) not, it's just not, it's not feasible. It's not realistic. So, you know, we, we had to take a lot of lessons in being realistic. You know, when you've got three little kids or when, you know, back when we started, when we had twins and I was pregnant, I had to, you know, take a dose of what is really realistic. You know, there were a lot of frustrations because Hey, I'm a Leo personality, so I think Ooh, I can get 50. Leo. Yeah, go Leos. Oh I, I feel like <laughs> Team Leo. That's um, right. I feel like I can get a million things done in a day, and it's just, it's not realistic. There's only 24 hours in a day, and half of those, you know, hopefully you're resting or sleeping or, or what have you. So, you know, it was a lot of just trying to take it day by day. Um, I read something, you know, when we first started that said, as long as you do one thing that progresses you forward, great, you're making progress. Like, so we just literally had to kind of go slow and just kind of figure stuff out. We're still figuring stuff out. Like it's not still not perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that's part of the process. And I also think that that's part of, um, the transparency, you know, I I pride myself on being super transparent. Like I'm going to tell people all the time that, Hey man, make no mistake. It's hard. Um, you know, and you got to give yourself a little bit of grace and say, you know, you, you, you're doing a lot, you're managing a lot. So cut yourself some slack sometimes, you know, everything's not going to be perfect. Um, so, you so know, it was is always immaculate, right? Uh, the, yeah. uh, please, please. <laughs> I was asking how, I said, Hey, we're not going to be in video, right? Cause you don't want to see the stack of laundry in the back, in the back. <laughs> me. You don't want to see it. It's taller than me. Absolutely not. My house is always a wreck. 100%, always. Um, but you know what? I had to be okay with it. That's just what it is. It, it, it meant that, you know, some days I had to get up early before, you know, the, the, the kids got up and the crew got up early, meaning three o'clock in the morning, okay? Wow. Four o'clock in the morning yes. before work. Hey, I, I am not a morning person. So that was excruciating, yeah. excruciating. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes I had to work late at night after the kids went to sleep. Um, you know, the house is quiet. And that, that was where I could sneak in an hour. Um, sometimes it was lunch breaks, you know, kind of holding myself off in a room somewhere in, in the office and, you know, taking an hour to do this or that. Yes. Yeah, so when I think about it, it's like, sounds crazy. Like I can't even believe that we were able to kind of navigate through it. It sounds absolutely crazy. I know. And, yeah. and also to speak to um, the transparency and the struggle sure. that you went through, I know that when we talked months ago, yeah. you were, re- you were going to turn in your notice in December. And right. so the next time I was like, oh, it's going to be a few more weeks. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. a few more weeks. And it, it finally happened, but right. it doesn't always happen in the timeline that you no. want it to happen. And so Not at all. I think persevering and pushing through that is really important. Sure. Um, to, for everybody to know as well. And um, you have made it such a big thing too. I mean, like you have famous people that are, is, are wearing your items. Right. <laughs> like that's, that's so huge. Cool. Oh, that's really huge. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it blows my mind. Like it, it literally, you know, I, I, I try to just, you know, keep my head down and, and, you know, nose the grindstone and just keep working. But it, it blows my mind. It's absolutely, it's something I haven't even wrapped my, my mind around. Yeah. Now, did you use any kind of courses to keep you on course, essentially, like business courses? Or is it some, something you, you guys just did trial and error? Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what Jamalam does. So. Yeah. So, um, course, 
course wise, I, this is what I'll say about that. So there, there were um, some people that I kind of found through social media that I kind of just followed along the way okay. who have been able to, um, I've picked up a lot of you know, info from them. Mm-hmm. Um, one in particular is Jasmine Starr. She just has been amazing as far as you're talking about somebody who's very transparent and sharing what she's learned. So like the whole social media part of the business, that was new to me. Like that was not something that, you know, I had any real experience in, you know, as far as like figuring out how to, you know, run a business and market a business through social media. Like that was not, I used it for personal use, like never like business. So I did have to kind of find those people along the way that I could kind of get information from. But I will tell you this, like, so I didn't like sign up for a business course or take a, you know, go to business school or whatever. I believe a lot of like what is necessary to run a business. We kind of already know, like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not talking about the ins and outs of like the social media or the marketing or stuff like that, like the actual doing it, but like the intuitive part, like a lot of it I had picked up from working 13 years of retail. Like yeah. a lot of the, a lot of those things are similar. You know, it, it it's like baseline retail is, is not, it, it's not going to change. Like it's, it's baseline. Right. Um, same thing like design, like, you know, baseline design is design. Like there's, there's not a lot, like how you market something or, you know, how you sell something or like the way that we buy things is different, but the fundamentals are the same. Um, so, um, what I wanted to say about the course stuff though, is that I believe there's anything you want to know on the internet. Like it's free. Sure. Like, yeah. I feel like anything you want to know, like, I tell people that all the time. I said, YouTube is free and <laughs> free information is on there. You just have to take the time to sit down and search for it. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of stuff is already free. And I used a lot of that free stuff for sure. Now, how do you weed through the free stuff? Because I know <laughs> when I'm looking for things, I, um, I get overwhelmed really easy. Sure. Like I'm like, holy cow. Like if, yeah. if it's something simple, like buying a couch, I'm like, I don't even know what's yeah. right anymore. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. No, it, it does. <laughs> I, I agree. It, 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 there, there is information overload out there and overwhelm for sure. Uh-huh. Um, but the, the only thing I could say about it is that it, it does take a little bit of time of, of research and time. You just have to allow yourself that time and say, look, I don't have to solve this tomorrow. Like, you know, I'm trying to build a business. I don't have to solve that tomorrow. Like, I think a lot of the learning is in the journey. So mm-hmm. you got to take the time restraints off of, off of yourself. Like, take, the, take those constraints off of you. Like, you're, yeah. you're just trying to learn. And the, 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 um, the act of trying to find the information and, and actually doing that due diligence and, and doing that work, um, I think it's just part of the process. And you just got to give yourself the time. Okay. You yeah. know? Yeah. Well, what do you, I'm, I'm thinking, so now I've got this visual in my head of like you sitting on your laptop doing some yeah. researching and whatever. Yeah. And then like a, three children come like running and like yeah. jumping and uh, jumping up and down and throwing <laughs> stuff at you. Like right. what do you do then? You know, at what point do you go, okay, I need to get off the computer or do you tell them go away? No. Or do you like totally melt down and want to throw them out the window? Like yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, kid, kids don't go away. Okay. So you can say, Oh, leave mommy alone or whatever. Okay. They're back in 30 seconds. Like mm-hmm. they don't like they're, they're, they're not, they're not going away. So, um, you know, what, what I've learned to do is that I, I have to balance. So like this morning, you know, there, I, I had like an hour or so before they got up. So I knew I had that hour or I knew I had that 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. If somebody woke up early, okay, well, hey, got to shut it down. You have to go, you know, attend to the, to the children, which is, which is great. That's the way it's supposed to be. So I think it's just, I had to, as a Leo, <laughs> yeah. I had to understand that, you know, this is going to be a balance, okay? So this, this you know, um, mom life slash boss life slash, you know, trying to build this business is going to be balanced. And it's not necessarily going to be 50-50 every day. Sometimes it'll be 70-30, 80-20, 20-80, 30-70, you know, mm-hmm. and um, you have to be okay with those, those up and down waves. Now, look, I'm human. So not to say that that's not frustrating <laughs> or, uh-huh. that, or like, like you said, you want to throw them out the window. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> that's not the case, <laughs> you know, because there's still things that need to get done. Um, but you, you have to just understand that in this phase and stage of life with young ones, that, that that's just the way that it is. 
Yeah. Well, and they're so all over the place when they're that little. Right. Right. Like said, there's no go, you know, go over there and play. Okay. Right. No, 30 seconds no, later. Right. They're not. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and, you know, I, I can attest to since, since, you know, I, we've had the experience of having the business with, uh, young, you know, nearly infants and then adding another one to the mix to now it's phases. Oh. It's phases. Yes. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's another thing that I encourage people to, to, to recognize and understand that this, this phase right now where they're all over the place and hanging on you and wanting, that doesn't last forever. And that's, that's both good and bad because, mm-hmm. you know, if you think about it, this, this phase where they're so young and they just want to be with you and they want to, like, that doesn't last forever, Mm-mm. you know? So I have a 16 year old. I know. Right. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so, so that also helps me too to shut it down, you know, to stop. <laughs> Because, yeah. you know, I have to also understand that, hey, yeah, I've got deadlines and I got emails I have to send to people and stuff. But at the same time, this time is fleeting, you know, yeah. and I cannot get that time back. So that also helps to, to re- keep the perspective to look, you got to shut it down sometimes. That's a really good point because yeah. it is their only, you know, like my kid is big and stinky and says mom all the time. Right, you right. Know? There's some <laughs> right. days where I really miss the three-year-old. Luke. Right, so, right, right, right. I have I to take that. On me. Yeah. That's right. I have to, I have to stop. I have to take that cuddle, you know, because yeah, I'm, right. I'm not going to get that cuddle in a couple years, maybe. That's right. <laughs> well, and another thing that you said too, that I actually just saw something about that not too long ago, and it, which is one of the things I think that Heather and I try to, that's kind of what the podcast is all about and, mm-hmm. and finding that balance and recognizing it's not always going to be 50-50, that it right. is going to be sometimes 70-30 or right. 60-40 or sure. even 10-90. <laughs> right, 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 right. And, and to, and to I, I, you know, d- just to go further on that, I think what, what I read about that, that's, that um, resonated with me was that that is balance. It adds up to 100%. Like people tend to think balance is 50-50, but that's just not what I, I believe. I believe that balance it equals 100, but that means that sometimes things are less and sometimes things are more. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's funny. I wish I could remember where I saw that, but somebody- yeah. But, you know, <laughs> I absolutely agree. Yeah. I think um, a big thing that I've learned with the, the three under four is you got to roll with the punches. <sighs> you just got to roll with the punches. Like, so you're not going to have a number four, number five, number six, number Oh, seven? no. Oh, oh, no, no. No, ma'am. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, I'm, I'm retired. I'm retired. I am retired. No. <laughs> this womb is clean. Yes. Three, three is plenty. Plenty. Oh, okay, Look, I'll put know. it I'll put it this way. I thought it was I thought two was plenty. And then, mm-hmm. you know, we, we got a great surprise. So yes, yeah. no. It's it's, it's plenty. <laughs> so <laughs> a better woman than I am, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh man. So what's your <laughs> next step in global domination? Oh, I don't know about global. I mean, that's great. I'm I'm uh, reaching for the stars um, for you. Yeah. <laughs> um I, I think uh, now, like our game plan this, this year is to really, um, really it's kind of two things. It's to, one, um, the, uh, the vision that, you know, we, we have for the business is just a lot bigger than it even is now. So, you know, I kind of talked about how our initial MO was to uh, have kind of like a one-stop shop for all of those holidays and birthdays and all that kind of jazz. So we, I don't think we've even scratched the surface. Like I, there, there's so much more that, you know, we want to flesh out with the birthday shop and with the newborn shop and all that, all that stuff that it's great to kind of have the time to start digging into that. So that'll be one of the the things that we uh, focus on this year is to kind of flesh out a total experience for the, for the shop. I think another is just to kind of dig into, you know, like I was saying that, um, the, the digital space and the marketing and all that stuff, that's all new to us. Like that is not, that is not our forte. So it really is to kind of connecting with some partners to kind of understand how we can take ourselves to the next level with the, mm-hmm. a lot of the, 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 the digital SEO, like SEO I heard about and I was Ugh. like, what? Yeah. Like, I, I, that is so far over my head. It's not even funny. So What's SEO? <laughs> search engine optimization. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, I, yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, make a long story short, it's, it's figuring out like how you can get your website found. Like there's 50 million websites out there. And so how, yeah. how do you come up when somebody's searching for tutu or birthday or whatever? Gotcha. Okay. Um, and it's so, a unique balance. I mean, it's just, they change codes all the time and yes. like how it's, 
It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, really getting our, our, our feet into that. And like I said, it, that's not my forte. So I, I know my limitations. So I'm going to find somebody to help us with that, you know, to, to kind of figure that, that part out. So that's probably number two. And then number three is just figuring out this new world that we're in, you know, this new world as far as, you know, I've been in corporate 13 years. I don't know what it is like to be at home, you know, during the day. And, you know, th- that I was telling, telling Heather, like, th- this is a new frontier for yeah. real. Like, yeah. you know, it, I thought in, you know, naively, I thought, you know, that I'd just come home from work and, you know, just start this grand new life and it all fall into place. And you know, it's, it's, <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Right. And it's, it's really not that easy. You know, it's, yeah. it's figuring out how we're going to, to do this new dance as a family. So, you know, that, that is on our plate to figure out this, this year and to kind of work through and to, you know, have some growing pains. So do you use yeah. a daycare or do you have a stay at, at home person that takes care of the kids or? Yeah. So the, the young lady who's helping us, so she comes in as a nanny, but um, she is so much more. She is their, their teacher. She really is like a Mary Poppins. And I, mm-hmm. I've called her that for years, whether she knows it or not, but she <laughs> is Mary Poppins, like flying in on an umbrella. I mean, <laughs> she, she is, is the best ever. So she, um, you know, we've turned one of the rooms upstairs um, into like a legit classroom. Um, and so she, she comes in, um, uh, anywhere between four, three to five hours a day and, um, you know, teaches, teaches the kids. So, so yeah, so they did go to a full-time daycare when I was in the corporate world. So now we've transitioned to an in-home. Okay. Yeah. Well, cause that, that would be, I mean, it's hard to get work done when the children are home, unless you have someone mm-hmm. who can oh, it, all them. It, it'd be impossible. <laughs> it'd be impossible. Like it wouldn't even be hard. It'd be impossible to get. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. There's it, no way. She, she saves my life on a daily basis for sure. Oh, that's but, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any other keys to success that you can share with our moms out there that are maybe looking to start a business or are, have already started and are just kind of struggling along. Yeah. Um, I, I, I do, but I, I think the, the way that I approach it is more from just the human mom to mom element. Um, and in, in saying that, what I mean is what I've learned is that you got to be kind to yourself. You really do. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like a lot of the times, and this is just me speaking from my perspective, like the stress and all of that anxiety that you feel is because you know, there are some unrealistic expectations that we put on ourselves, Mm -hmm. like for real, like it's, it's just unrealistic and you have to give yourself some grace, you know, and give yourself time and know that number one, you know, the mom job is hard. It's hard in itself, you know, and when you add on things to that, when you're adding on a business or you're adding on a full-time job or part-time job, you know, Mm -hmm. whatever it is, um, you know, crafting on the side, like it's, it's hard. Um, and so just know that no one person has it all together. It's a ruse. It's not true. Like it's, it's just not. And, and the ones that do are crazy. They, yeah, the ones that, yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they're, they're heavily medicated. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it, it is possible to look like you have it all together, yeah. but mm-hmm. you know, behind the scenes, like I said, what did I say? If we were on like a video chat, you'd see a pile of laundry six feet tall. Right? <laughs> like it's just, it's just not, it's just not, you know, feasible to do everything well yeah. at once. You just Mm-mm. can't, um, you know, so um, it's, it, it, it's, it's be kind to yourself. It is, um, just be curious. And what I mean by that is that there's so much information out there that I, you know, I always say that there's, there's no mistake. So whenever I stumble over some information, I'm like, Oh man, that's really good. It, yeah. It's it's not, it's not, it's not an accident. You know, it's, it, I, I believe that there's, there's, there's a, um, divine, uh, what I want to say, um, path that we all are on and there, there's no, mis- there's no accidents. There's, there's no mistake. So suck in all of that information that, that, that you can, it's, it's a lot of it, like I said, it's free. It's mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what, what else would I say? Take the help. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say that from, from a Leo mom, yeah. someone who didn't necessarily follow that advice. But, you know, if there, there are people or family or, you know, people that are saying, oh, hey, you know, let, let me help you with that. Or, hey, we could take the kids for an hour or we can take the kids for two hours or, hey, let's do a play date and you drop the kid. Do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even 
even if you don't have some grand old plans to do, do it just to come home and sit down in silence. Like, yeah. like you know, d- give yourself that, that time to decompress. Yeah, like, I, I love that because yes. that's I'm so guilty of not accepting yes. your offer. And I'm like, no, I've it's got hard. it. It's yes. No, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not I know really. your voice is cracking, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> like it, 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 is, it is so important. Like it, it really does. Um, it takes a village, you know, and it really, really does. And I didn't, I didn't understand that until maybe the last couple of years, like how it really, if there's people that are willing to help, help you take the help. Mm. And, and, and don't think that you have to be superwoman or that you have to make this appearance that you're like some superhero. Exactly. Yeah. We all have piles of yoga pants in our closets. Um, <laughs> 100%. Just started owning yoga pants, guys. For a reason. Yes, for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's so easy to just, you know, have this guilt or this mom guilt or, you know, we're, we're martyrs and we, we just have to mm-hmm. take on 500 million things and, you know, our back breaks from that kind of pressure and stress. And it's okay to sometimes say, you know what, I'm going to take a breather. Or I'm going to take this person up on taking the kids for an hour or come in. You know, we would have people say, Hey, we would, we'll come sit with the, with the twins when they were babies. So you guys can sleep for a couple hours. Like, at first we didn't take that. And then yeah. when we were zombies, we took it. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, yeah. you, that, that, that kind of help is worth its weight in gold. And don't, don't, don't be a martyr. Take it. I guess I play yes. the martyr really well, so yeah. resonate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sit down because I have so much to do. I uh, know. Oh my god! I feel, like, I feel like, but at the end of the day, we get so run down, and we're 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 human too, you know. And, oh yeah. And- those little things that we take pleasure in, like maybe it's the thing I love the best is this, to, to take a bubble bath. You know how long it's been since I took a bubble bath? Like, you know, but, but how long does that take? That can take 45 minutes. Hey, yeah. you what? Your husband watch the kids while what you- What kind of sad, sad bubble bath are you taking? I know. It should be longer, but you Mine's know- I, like two to three hours. Know, I'm not even joking. Does the water get cold? <laughs> you, re- you reheat. Oh, <laughs> Oh no! Uh, at, at, for two or three hours, I would definitely have little fingers under the door. Like, where are you at? Like, I know. Wow. What are you doing? Right. 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 <laughs> oh, I haven't taken one in several months, but yeah, right. like I bring the iPad in there. There's wine. Right. Uh, right. I text for refills. Like, it's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that then that is your thing. Like, I, yeah. I think every every mom or every and every person, really, parents, you know, dads too you know, should, should be able to say, this is my thing that I enjoy. And Hey, maybe I sh- should do it every week or every two weeks or every month yeah. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that unless you have some final notes you want to give our listeners, I'm sure they would take any grain that you are willing to share. Yeah, I, I mean, I, um, I'm an open book. So I, you know, th- this year, I've tried to, to, um, uh, I've enlisted the help of my sisters to um, get the blog up and running. So oh, nice. We are, um, you know, if anybody ever has any questions, like legit, I'm an open book. I love being able to share my experience. Anybody can reach out to me through through the blog, through social media, I answer every single message from social media, Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah, I, I just want to encourage, you know, women, especially moms, you know, in, in whatever their endeavors are, that we can do it. You awesome. Can. Oh, you and can where can do they it. find you? Where do you, where do they yeah, find give you? them all your info. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So on Facebook and Instagram, we're under the same name. So it's uh, the, the name is It's My Party Kids uh, Boutique. Um, and so we're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, our website is www.itsmypartykids.com. Um, my email that I check every single day is info at it's my party kids.com. Um, your address is, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I oh yeah. Right. <laughs> you can write me at, <laughs> send me a letter. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll get to me faster through email, not letter. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I was just, I was just, no, no, I didn't have anything official. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, d- please speak up. We- well, and you can always reach out to us to I Can't Mom Today on Facebook, our Facebook. Yeah. And our Instagram is I Can't Mom Today Podcast or email I Can't Mom Today Podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And we don't have addresses. Yeah. 
We live in space. <laughs> we live in podcast land. Cyberspace. <laughs> well, I just want to say again, thank you ladies so much for what you're building here. I think you're building a community that's transparent um, and that um, really resonates with, with moms. Like I, I, even the, the title itself, it, it is, it lends itself to look, we're all on the same journey. You know, we're, we're, we're all on a similar experience of, of motherhood and, it's not easy every day. And I think that, that the more that we get um, moms and women who are transparent about that, I think it takes a lot of weight off. And I think it's a breath of fresh air to, to know that, you know, hey, it's not just you. It's not just, you know, me. Or it's not just her who has this experience. Like we have a lot of same ex- similar experiences and I, I, I love it that we can share them. Yes. Yeah. And that's, you know, we did a podcast on actually Instagram life because, you know, we do with this new social media yeah. thing, everybody lives this Instagram life and you're like, why can't I be off to Fiji and yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I mean, I still look at those and I'm like, man, I wish I could go there, but you know, I, it's, <laughs> it's you, you, you never know the circumstances behind some of, some of those, those, those pictures. Oh, so. for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Or the filters. Correct. Yeah. Uh, correct. <laughs> or the face tune. Yeah, That's correct. right. <laughs> I don't use any of that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Because none of my pictures of me, they're all Baker. Uh, no, that's right. I, I hardly ever post pictures of myself unless somebody else does. I'm like, I don't want to look at myself. Yeah, it's all like, kids. Oh, yeah, know. it's all the family. It's all the kids. That's yeah. right. Got and it. animals. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, awesome. thank, thank you so you. much. Thank I you really so appreciate much, Rona. it. Was of course. Awesome. It, was, it, was so great to, it was great to meet you. Thank you so much for having me on. And go check out Ramona's line. It's amazing. The cutest little things for little babies. Thank you. And kids. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Until Thanks. next time. <laughs>